Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out this guy. This is the Tomaquad Slingshot and it's a brushless 1S Micro. And this one is very similar to the Bat 100 that I reviewed from uh, Full Speed RC a while back. But this one is uh, obviously you're going to build it yourself. Uh, and I'll go over all the parts that I put in here. First off, start off with the motors. These are uh, the Bold Clash 0705 motors and these are 15,000 kV. And I'm using this similar similar props that the Bat 100 comes with. I'm not sure if they're 100% the same. These are the Hubson style props, 55 millimeters, and they're kind of tapered. These are sort of pretty, supposed to be pretty good props, uh, pretty efficient, and pretty good flight times and power. Got a uh, all-in-one camera here with a video in and out for the OSD. It's uh, pretty much the same as the one that's on the Bat 100. The power cube on here is a little bit different. This is, uh, instead of an F3, it's an F4. So it's, I think it's called like the Super F4 or Teeny F4, something like that. Comes with a 4-in-1 uh, 1S ESC here, six amps, I believe. And you get an uh, F4 flight controller and has a Betaflight OSD on there. And I'm using a FlySky receiver here. This is the um, RX2A Pro and it's just directly soldered on. So here's what the frame looks like from the bottom, and unlike the Bat 100, it's not a stretch text, it's just an H-style frame. It's about 98 millimeters motor to motor, and it's obviously wider than it is uh, longer from front to back. And let me just compare this to the Bat 100. So if you put that next to the Bat 100 here, you can see that the Bat 100 is uh, completely the opposite configuration. It's a longer front to back and shorter side to side. But if we turn the frame, the slingshot frame, 90 degrees, it's almost the same configuration there. It's just a little bit shorter on the axes uh, lengthwise. I think this is 100 and this is 98. But basically the the frames are rotated 90 degrees so you get this configuration here. So it's going to have some different flight characteristics, obviously some different PIDs. And I will have a CLI dump with the PIDs for this in the description. Now the uh, overall build process of this is fairly straightforward. Um, the first thing I did was I built a little cube here and then I soldered on the motors underneath. And you can see the motor wire is going underneath the board and they're soldered from the inside so that there's no wires that get in the way here. And then I uh, soldered on the receiver directly to the board. I soldered on the all-in-one camera directly to the board. Um, pretty simple there. There's a little 3D printed piece here that slides into the frame here, and that's the camera mount. And then there's a, there's a small rubber band that goes around the lens and that holds this camera in place. And then I just uh, put on the standoffs here and then uh, screw down the, the four screws here on the bottom for the mounting the uh, power stack. Mounted the camera, then screwed on the top plate, and then put the props on. So. That's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple build. It took me a couple hours to put this together. Um, I think the hardest thing was getting the screws in to the motors because the, I think the cutouts here for these motors on this frame is a little bit too small. So you ha I had to file out the edges of the uh, screw holes to get the screws to fit in the motor. That was probably the hardest thing and most time consuming for me. So I decided to go with a JST connector here instead of the uh, the JS, I guess the PH 2.0 connector. If I need to use those batteries, I have uh, decided to use some uh, adapters here. So I could use the uh, PH 2.0 batteries or I can use the Micro Lucy batteries and I just have a little adapter here. So it gives me a little more options on the battery that I can use for this micro. I have a lot of 1S batteries, but they have uh, different connectors here and these are the two common ones that I've been using. Okay, just give you a couple of quick measurements here. I believe this is a one and a half millimeter bottom plate. It's a one and a half millimeter bottom plate. So it is a, a little bit flexible, but it's okay. It's a, you know, we're not talking tons of power here. It's one S only. And I'll get a weight measurement of this. 32 point, almost 32.9 grams. And you compare this to the Bat 100, I think it's gonna be about the same, 32.6 grams. So regarding this frame, it is possible to build this as a 2S or 3S, I believe. Um, Originally this frame was only for meant for these 0703 or 705 motors. Now he has cutouts for the um, 110X size motors. You can put like 1102, 1103 type motors in here and go 2S. Wouldn't probably go 
three estimates because the frame is so skinny and the more power you give the motors here, the more likely the frame is going to warp when you're flying around and uh, you're just going to have a lot of issues with PIDs and tuning. Uh, so if you want to build this as a uh, 2S instead of a 1S, then you would obviously some needs of different parts here. Uh, you would need like a, basically a 2S a capable 4 one EC and a uh, flight controller that's also uh, 16 by 16 so I'll put some alternative parts here if you want to build this as a 2S in the description, as well as the parts that I use for this 1S build. So regarding the Betaflight setup in this, I am running Betaflight 321, the latest version. I have um, reversed my props on here, so they're running the opposite direction of, of standard. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just give you my PIDs and everything in the CLI dump in the description. You guys can just uh, copy those settings and put them in here to get that fly the same way. And I'll go ahead and I'll show you some FPP footage and flight demos here now.